the history of Santa Rosa goes way back. In fact, we're approaching our 150th anniversary in uh, 2018. Uh, my favorite parts of our town are really the downtown. Um, and we sort of have two. We have our central business downtown, which surrounds our courthouse square. Um, that's an uh, area of restaurants and entertainment primarily, but also business. And then there's our railroad square, which is a little more historic. Again, restaurants, uh, a lot of entertainment. Both are great for active nightlife. The early founders and the business people in the area um, really felt that Santa Rosa had the opportunity to flourish because it was rich in agricultural foundation in the area. Uh, they began their commercial agriculture in about 1875 here, but the wineries actually and vineyards were started also back in the late 1800s and then grew and prospered to what they are today. We're surrounded by wonderful wineries and vineyards. Um, just immediately east of our uh, city is the, the St. Francis Vineyard. It's actually on our eastern border. Beyond that, Chateau St. Jean, all the wineries of Sonoma Valley, and then heading north um, immediately, you run into things like Paradise Ridge, um, which enters in the, is part of the city, and, and on up into the, the Russian River Valley of Phoenix. So the Russian River Brewery is the grand dame of our ever burgeoning brewery business here in the city of Santa Rosa. Russian River, their fame is having Pliny the Younger, which has been proclaimed best beer in the world. We have a number of really fine museums in our city. We have the Luther Burbank Home and Garden. We have the Sonoma County Museum, which is both history and a fine art. Um, we have the uh, Charles Schultz Museum. His widow and family created a museum to feature um, Charles Schultz Peanuts cartoons as art. It is a very unique institution, and it's a fascinating place to visit. And uh, just opened recently the Children's Museum. There's been a long history of um, bicycle enthusiasm in Sonoma County and in Santa Rosa. Uh, there were a group of wheelmen back in the 1800s that had and sponsored racing and other bicycle events in this region. I think it's notable that a sport like bicycling can generate about $20 million in economic activity in a community, and that's what we've experienced here in Santa Rosa. We're very proud of the diversity of our community, and we celebrate it um, even as an as a employer. We have an inclusion council where we really reach out and try to embrace and respect that diversity which our community reflects. And the council is made up of both staff members as well as community members, and it has a, an external and an internal focus. And the external focus, certainly in terms of helping to support an inclusive community, Part of the way that we try to get our staff and our employees knowledgeable about what's going on with our community is through a training program. And that program helps to create a common language around diversity and inclusion for our staff. It also um, raises awareness about different issues from different cultures, both within the city organization and our community because both staff and community members attend those trainings. Transportation has been a huge factor as it is in many uh, communities but it's been a huge factor in the history and development of the city of Santa Rosa. As our uh, community is, is growing um, we're also connecting um, more intimately with our uh, urban neighbors to the South Bay Area. We have the Smart Train, uh, Sonoma Marine Area Transit which will be starting rail service between uh, Sonoma County and uh, Marin County. It's really exciting. That'll be in 2016, and that's going to be a real game changer, I believe, in this area. In Santa Rosa, the environment is an asset to us. It's our job to protect that. The creeks run through Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa Creek, the Prince Memorial Greenway, and water supply. That's an important part of what we deal with. Conserving that water supply is number one, and then on the back end, reusing 100% of the resources that come out of the treatment process through reuse of our wastewater, through, through reuse of our biosolids, and through reuse of our gases that are generated to generate power on site to run the treatment process. And the reuse of recycled water is really very beneficial to us in two different ways. One is it's a potable water offset. So the more water, recycled water we can use for places like fields and golf courses, that's less potable water that we have to then supply. The advanced treated wastewater that's produced from Santa Rosa is sent up to the geyser steam field and that produces about 100 megawatts of power, enough to power 125,000 homes. We have in this county one of the most forward thinking uh, uh, land and open space conservation um, efforts. We are virtually surrounded by parkland. 
Uh, you can uh, traverse through our Howard Park on the eastern side, uh, Annadale State Park, which then connects to the Sonoma Valley Regional Park. So we have a number of really fine uh, opportunities for us to connect with nature and we're very committed to preserving it.